Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Mount Vernon. If you haven't already done so, let me invite you now to take a moment, turn around, greet one another with the peace and the joy of Jesus Christ. Good morning. How are you? Peace be with you. Deborah. Deborah. Mom. 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 Several announcements to bring to your attention this morning. First, just a reminder that immediately following worship is our Advent event over in Fellowship Hall. Um, lunch is going to be served there, and there are a variety of crafts for kids and adults to be part of. So um, we'd love to have you join us. If you have some time this afternoon, feel free to stop by. Also, um, by now, have all of you received an Advent? Okay, we're on now. Have all of you received an Advent devotional in the mail? I hope you are following along. Um, the first week we had some wonderful devotions, and I'm totally serious. Put it by, just put it on your dinner table. Um, we have been reading it every night before dinner, and thanks to everyone who's participated. If you do not, if you have not gotten one in the mail, um, see an usher before you leave this morning, and we'll be sure to get you one. It'll help you prepare for the, the Christmas season. Um, and I don't have, no Vic Hop. Bill is always looking, always looking for people who can help in any way. So if you are interested in being part of the Vic Hop ministry, we'd love to have you do that every Friday night during the month of January and December and January. So see, Vic, Bill, raise your, raise your hand so everybody knows who you are, where you are. And Jim, you have a minute for mission this morning, or a minute for stewardship, I guess. Great. Thanks, Jim. We appreciate it. Any other announcements that need to be lifted up this morning? Okay. Well, let us together worship God.
chapter of the book of Isaiah. Listen now for what the Spirit might have to say to you. Comfort. O comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty has been paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill will be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Get you to a high mountain. O Zion, herald of good tidings, lift up your voice with strength. O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings, lift it up. Do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. See, the Lord comes with might, and His arm rules for Him. His reward is with Him, and His recompense before Him. He will feed His flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs under His arms and carry them in His bosom and gently lead the mother sheep. Friends, this is the word of the Lord and the poetry of the faithful. Thanks be to God. Y'all made it here. Welcome to the Christmas Cafe. I'm Polly Porkchop. I'm Jim Hickman. I'm Sandy Kane. I'm the cook here, Mac and Cheese. And I'm the Cheddar Steak and Cheese. Tell them what the N stands for, Mac. N as in not yet, Polly. Not yet. If you stick around, I'll serve you some of the best food you've ever eaten on this side of the Mediterranean Sea. That's right. Polly's Pat Assigned Pot Roast speaks for itself. Yep, sure does. And I've got the gas to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we used to call this place Max Cafe, but after the miracle, we changed it to the Christmas Cafe instead. Yes, that miracle also changed my heart. Before that, it was just a hard-nosed businessman, so tell him the story, Polly. Well, it all started with that silly census from Caesar Augustus. At least that's where we came into it all. A herald from the emperor's office dropped in and ordered a Caesar salad. Then he made the announcement. Return to their hometown so we can rake in more money. <clears throat> I mean, take in more lawful taxes. <laughs> and that's when things got really busy here in Bethlehem.
Well, hello there, sir. What can I get for you tonight? Mm, I think we'll have the Jonah jelly and the filet of fish sandwich. What about some Dead Sea tea to wash it down? Sounds delicious. Say, stranger, I've never seen you around these parts before. What's your name? Isaiah, but some people just call me Izzy. Pleased to meet you, Izzy. What brings you to Bethlehem? The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in the land of darkness, a light will shine. What do you mean? The leopard shall lie down with a lamb, and the little child shall lead them. What does this all mean? Be ready. God's promise will be fulfilled very soon. <laughs> Be ready in the fullness of time. God will send his son. Wow, I've never seen an angel before. Did you see the sun? Yeah, it was bright and full of angels. And did you see the radiant stars shining above? Okay, fellas, calm down and have a seat. I'll take your orders one at a time. We can't stay long. We just need a snack. What about the Mount Caramel Pie? Sounds yummy. We'll take it to go. On our way, way to be the newborn king. king. That, newborn king? That's right. We just heard from a bunch of angels in the sky that we should fear not. We fear is breaking our standards. They said, unto us to stay in the city of David, a savior, who is Christ the Lord, is born.
that's what happened. Here's your note for a We're looking for a baby in a manger and swaddling clothes. And he dressed a lion. What does he mean? What did he say? Is this, this the new is Messiah? Messiah? This, this is exciting! exciting. So what are we waiting for? Let's go see what all the ruckus is about. Party weekend, we've got customers to take care of. We'll lose a lot of money. No, Mac, don't flip your spin. Just simmer down. We can't miss this. Oh, all right, but if this is some trick, I'll never let you guys forget it. I think Mr. Izzy is right. The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. The great light has arrived. That's how it all happened, a miracle right here in Bethlehem, and it's because God loves us so much. That's right. Mr. Izzy, Mr. Isaiah was right on the mark. Jesus Emmanuel came to us on that holy night. I was never the same. The world has never been the same, and you're a better person now, Mac. Or my name's not Mac and Cheese. Tell them what the N stands for, Mac. And as in Noel, born is the king of Israel. And everybody said, Amen. Now, if you stick around, I'll show you some of the John the Baptist biscuits and Galilee gravy. 
And that's the type of food that lasts forever. So, Mac, what do you say? We all sing the last song? That and a check will buy you a cup of coffee. I don't know. I'd say our time here together tonight was priceless. Yes, and powerful like our spicy Bethlehem buffalo wings. Now say goodbye to the people, ladies. So long, folks. Y'all come back, back now, you hear?
No matter how the story is told, no matter how the songs are sung, the message of the Advent and Christmas season is it's always the same. We serve a God who loves us so much that He becomes one of us. And He feeds not just our stomachs, but He feeds our souls. As you continue to reflect on that message this morning, I'd like to invite our ushers forward at this time to receive the offering. The events of 2,000 years ago really are no different than the events we are living through to today. Always in the midst of those heavenly hosts that sing glorious praises to God or the sounds of children choirs, in the midst of all of that there is still a broken world in which we live. And even on a light Sunday like this when we are um, amused by the children's message to us, we recognize the harshness of the world that we live in. And as we watch and prepare, we are mindful of the brokenness around us. Will you join me now in prayer? God who keeps watch. We enter this time of prayer seeking to bind ourselves more firmly to you and more fully to one another. We come with our gratitude and our grief. We come with our hope and our heartache. We come with our reverence and our rage. We come with our faith and our fear. We come with all we have and with all we lack. We come with all we are and with all we are not. We bring our whole selves to you this day as an act of trust and worship. So hear us now, O oh God. Listen. Lean in close. During these days of Advent, awaken us, O Lord. Wake us from our drowsy indifference. Wake us out of our places of comfort. Wake us, shake us, and make us more like Your Son. During this season of preparation, prepare us, O Lord. Prepare us to be ambassadors of justice, 
Prepare us to be vehicles of hope. Prepare us to be agents of change. Prepare us to make a way in the desert of our world and our lives. During this season of waiting, help us to wait, O Lord. Help us to wait with hope and courage and conviction. Help us to wait with tear-stained lament and gut-wrenching cries. Help us wait as we work and as we worship. During this season of longing, show us how to long, O Lord. To yearn and to work toward that day of promise. The day when the hungry are fed. When the empty are filled, when the high are brought down low and the low are lifted up. That day, God, when black lives matter as much as white lives. The day when demonic forces of racism and hatred and violence are finally and fully destroyed. Through the power of your mercy, Make us long for that day more than we long for possessions or privilege or power. Grant us courage to confront evil, even the evil in our own towns, our own places of work, our own families, our own hearts. Feed us with spiritual food. For the sake of Jesus who taught us, when we pray, to say together, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Please stand now for our closing hymn of praise. Now, friends, as you go forth from this place, know that God goes with you, behind you to encourage you, beside you to befriend you, above you to watch over you, within you to strengthen you, and always before you to show you His way. And all God's people agreed and said, Amen. Amen.